Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is Tori from Be Creative Crochet. So today we're gonna go over a stitch. I call it pattern one because there's no name for it. It's just a bunch of um, series of stitches and this is what it comes out, okay? This is what it looks like. It's a, let's say a four row repeat, which is good. And um, you'll be repeating rows two through five the pattern and the um, the link will be down in the description box below. Right here, I did it, um, I did one set and then I did another set. So this is how it will look if you do the, the repeat twice, okay? So just so you know. With this one, I used it with a category four. This is Karen Simply Soft. This is the one I'm gonna be using for our sample so that you guys will um, can easily see it. It's very light so you can actually see um, the stitches very well. Is very beginner friendly and it's actually really fun but with this one you would have to um, see with the pattern you're gonna have to you know crochet along with this one just so you know exactly what I'm talking about um, in the pattern it also says to you know to see the video for further details because it was kind of hard to explain and I didn't want to confuse you so that's the reason why I did a, a pattern with the or video with the pattern I should say Okay, so a little bit about this pattern. This pattern can be used with all sorts of things. You can use it for, if you are to do just rows one through five, you can do it as a bracelet or a choker if you're doing it with a smaller thread. So what I did was I used um, a smaller thread and this is what it looks like when you use something small. This is only rows one through five, okay? And with this, you could do it as a bracelet. You know, it'll be pretty on your arm if you do it all the way around, or if you do it as a choker, that'll be pretty as well. So um, that will be pretty, but you would have to stop at row five. That will be your last row, okay? Just so you know. Or if you wanna make it a bigger choker, you can go a little bit higher. It's a, you know, it's a thread, so you can, um, you can do it however you want to. But just so you know, just make sure that when you're doing this pattern that you end on row five, okay? The row five is this row of the double crochets, okay? Like I said, it's beginner friendly. Anyone can do it. I'm gonna go slow enough so you guys can see exactly what to do and um, to explain everything for you. I did it in different types of size yarns. I also did it in a one. This is a sock weight yarn. This one was done with a 2.55 millimeter hook by Susan Bates. It came out really, actually this one, I enjoyed making this one. This one was really nice, even though it's a dark, um, like a heather gray, but it is absolutely, it's pretty. I like it. You can also do this as a choker and a bracelet if it's, it's a little bit bigger. So you can compare the two, okay? It's a little bit bigger, but um, definitely you can, you know, switch it up however you want to do it. I also did it with a category three, which is like a, a baby sport weight. Um, this is what it looks like. It's still pretty, you know, I like it. It's really soft. Um, I'm not sure if I would do this for a, a full size dress be due to the big, the large holes, but I will do it as a trim for it. And like at the very bottom of a dress. And like I said, I'll be doing only rows one through five for a trim. Just like you would do for a choker and for a bracelet, you would only do rows one through five, okay? But if you're doing a shawl, um, a scarf or um, a blanket or anything, then continue, okay? With this pattern, I wanna let you guys know that it works with multiples of eight plus four, okay? Remember that, eight plus four. When you're doing this, you have to make sure that when you do your last row of double crochets that you have the same amount of stitches that you started with in the very beginning, okay? So being that with the sample that I'm gonna be doing, I'm only gonna be doing chaining 32 plus four, which will be my multiples of eight plus four, okay? Just make sure that you count the stitches out right, please do. If you want, you can use stitch markers, it helps. Me, I didn't really go into any of, you'll see as we go along. I don't wanna go into explaining it too much, I just wanna just show you, and then we'll go from there. So go ahead and grab your yarn. So what I'm gonna be using is some Karen, Karen um, Simply Soft. This is some scrap yarn that I have. I wanna use it in a light color so that you guys can actually see 
how to do it, okay? And I'm gonna be using a, um, a crochet hook of size five. I'm using what um, the yarn calls for, okay? I didn't go bigger, I didn't go smaller. I did try doing it with a, um, a category four weight yarn with a smaller hook and it works really good, just so you know, okay? And with this, we're going to, for this sample piece that we're going to be doing, we're only going to be doing um, chaining 32, okay? So let's go ahead and start with our slip knot. This, this stitch has a few different types of stitches, which is listed in the pattern. So I'm going to go through and show you exactly first what stitches we're going to be doing, okay? So this is for the beginners. So the first thing we're going to be doing is a chain. So you yarn over. Pull through, that's a chain, okay? Yarn over and pull through. That's how you make your chains. So that's gonna be the first stitch that we're gonna be doing. The next stitch we're gonna be doing is, let me get it together here. I'm gonna get a row going really quick and um, so that we I can show you the full, cause there's quite a bit of stitches that's in this one and I wanna make sure that you guys understand it before we get into it okay so let me pause and let me get some let me get some um some length here so that i can show you the stitches that we're going to be doing hold on okay so i'm back so what i did was um i got some i just chained up 10 real quick and just did this so that we could see what's going on okay so you're going to be doing double crochet which is yarn over okay insert your hook pull through you have three loops yarn over pull through two and then yarn over and pull to two okay again that is the double crochet so you're going to yarn over insert your hook yarn pull up the yarn right here you have three yarn over pull through two and then yarn over and pull through two we're going to be doing the double crochet we're also going to be doing single crochet which you guys already know, which is when you just go in, no yarn over, go in, pull through, and pull through. That's a single crochet. We're also going to be doing three double crochet together. So that's when you yarn over, go insert your hook, pull through. You have three loops, okay? You see the three loops? So you're going to yarn over, pull through two, okay? You're gonna yarn over again, that's one. You're gonna do it again, insert your hook, pull up a loop, you have four, pull through, and you're gonna pull through these two. You have two in that spot, you see? One, two. Then you're gonna do it one more time. Yarn over, go insert the same into the same stitch, pull up, you're gonna have, how many? Five, pull through two, okay? Now you have a total of three double crochets in the same stitch, okay? Then you're going to yarn over and then pull through all, okay? You're going to see that quite a bit in this stitch is this three double crochets together. Then we're going to be doing the two double crochet together, which is yarn over, pull, go into a, a loop, pull through the first two, and then stop. Yarn over, and then we're going to go into another one and do the same thing. So you have four, just pull through the first two and then stop. Then yarn over and pull through all. We're gonna be doing these stitches, okay? Just so you guys know. Also, um, that's pretty much it. There's no half double crochets in this one. It's just all double crochet, single crochet, chain, and um, the three double crochet together and two double crochet together. There's also gonna be um, the five double crochet shell, but that's basically all five double crochets in one stitch, okay? That turns it into a shell, okay? Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my slip knot, okay? Let's start with that. What I'm gonna do is chain, since this is just a sample, I'm going to chain 32 plus four. So remember, it's multiples of eight plus four. So go ahead and if you're working with along with me, you'll go ahead and chain 32 and then add your four. Or if you're not, go ahead and chain your multiples of eight. So it's going to be eight, 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 eight. And then once you're done getting your length, then add four. And I will see you at the end. Actually, 
I won't see you at the end. I'm going to actually chain some of these with you, okay? So I'm going to be doing my 32. So let me yarn over and pull one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get to my um, 32 plus four, and I will see you at the end. Okay, I'm back. So right here I have my 32 chains plus my four, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to double crochet in the fifth chain from the hook, okay? So one, don't count what's on here, but one, two, three, four, and then a five. Yarn over and double crochet into the fifth chain from the hook, okay? And now what you're going to do is we're going to double crochet all the way down to the end, okay? So I'm going to do a few with you. You already know how to yarn over, pull through two, and then pull through two. Yarn over, go insert your hook. Pull up a loop, you have three, pull through two, you have two left, and then pull through the two, okay? So, let's go ahead and continue to double crochet all the way to the end. All right, I'll see you at the end. Okay, so I'm back. So I'm done with my um, double crochets all the way to the end. When you're done with this, if you're doing the sample just like me, um, you should have a total of 33 double crochets, okay? Because remember we did the chain of 32 plus the four. That four is also a double crochet, which gives you your 33rd <laughs> double crochet, okay? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to so what I did was I ended up putting a state um I ended up putting a stitch marker, okay? It just makes it easier, especially for beginners, and I try to um, make all my patterns beginner friendly. So if it's easier for you, add a stitch marker in there. Go ahead and count out your 33 stitches and in that 33rd stitch, put your um your stitch marker, okay? All right. Let's go ahead and finish this pattern, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to chain 1 and turn in this first stitch right here we're going to do one single crochet okay chain two skip three so one let me see if i could get it better for you oh that's even more oh there we go there we go we're working with it now okay so chain two skip three okay skip three stitches in the fourth, we're going to do a three double crochet stitch, okay? So again, yarn over, pull through. So now we have two, we have one on ours, okay? We're not going to complete this. We're going to leave these two. So yarn over, go back into there to the same stitch, and then pull through two more, just two. Now we have two. We're going to yarn over and pull it through and then pull through two. Now we have three. Pull through all, okay? Chain three. We're gonna do another three double crochet in the same stitch, okay? So, yarn over. You see we got three loops. Pull through two. Do it again. We have two now. Yarn over, go insert. Pull through two, now we have three, pull through all, okay? This is what we're going for here, you guys, this stitch right here. We're going to be using this a lot, so just so you know, so you might as well get used to it. Alrighty, chain three. Skip three, and in the fourth, single crochet, okay? Chain two, whoops. Skip three, one, two, three, and in the fourth, we're going to do the same pattern, okay? 
So one, two, three, and the fourth. We're gonna do the three double crochet together. One, two, and three. Pull through all, chain three. Do the same three double crochet together in the same stitch. One, two, and three. Pull through all, chain three. One, two, and three. Skip three and in the four single crochet. Okay, chain two. Skip three in the fourth. We're going to do again that puff. So continue this all the way down until I'll meet you when we get close to the end. Okay, so we can do the end together. Okay, so I'm back. All right, so I just finished my three double crochet, chain three, deep, um, three double crochet together. And the last, we're getting close to the end. So on the very end, what we're going to do is we're going to chain three. And then here in this stitch is where we're going to put a single crochet. If you can get it, honey, if you can get it. So what was the purpose of the stitch marker? Okay, all right, finally. Okay, so we have it. This is what we have so far, okay? Let me pull it up some so you guys can see what's going on here. Okay, so this is what we have so far. We gotta make it clear for you, okay? So this is what we're working with, okay? If yours looks like this, we are right on track. All right, so that was row two. Now we're gonna be on row three. For row three, what we're gonna do is we're going to chain three and turn. So one, two and three and turn okay we're going to put one double crochet in this stitch right here so this is the chain three area that we did okay at the end so it's going to be one double crochet in there then we're going to let me get to the pattern real quick to make sure All right, so we're going to chain two. And here we're going to do the same stitch that we've already been doing, which is the three double crochet together, chain three, and three double crochet together. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go a little bit faster this time around, so because you guys should already know how to do those. Chain three. And we're going to again go in here and do the same exact thing. Okay, all right, so we're going to chain three. Wait, let me make sure. Yes, chain three. <laughs> One, two, three. And then here, all right, so this is where it may get complicated. So you see right here where we have, we put our single crochet. What we're going to do is we're going to do two, we're going to um, crochet two double crochet together, but we're going to do it around this single crochet, okay? So you're going to yarn over. Do the first one in this space, pull through two, yarn over, and then go on the other side, okay? And then pull through two, and then pull through all, okay? You see? That's what we're working with here, you guys. Let me, okay? So you're gonna, that's the single crochet that we was working with, and we end up putting one here, and then one here. We're gonna put it on either side in these this little, um, in these holes right here, okay? Chain two, so one, two. Then in this stitch, we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did here. We're gonna do the three double crochet together. One, two, and three. Yarn over and pull through all. Chain three. 
yarn over and go back in here and do your um, puff stitch again. Oh my gosh, it's blurry. I don't want it to be blurry. It's two. pull through wall okay and get some more yarn here all right chain three remember we're back at that single crochet so we're going to do it once in this uh, the two double crochet together one here and one here okay so yarn over go through that first hole pull up get that two right there yarn over and we're going to go in the next stitch which is right here so two we got them like this we got one over here and one over here you see it you have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all okay chain two do the same thing like we just did until we and i will meet you when we get to the end okay all right, so we're at the end. So I just completed my last three double crochet together. So at the very end, I'm going to chain three. Actually, you know what? Mm. I don't think so. Actually, yeah, let's chain three. I had it right. So chain three. Okay, so the we're going to do is two double crochet right here, but we're going to do two double crochet together. All right, so yarn over. We're going to go in this first space to do the first one okay and then we're going to yarn over and then go into this single crochet that we had did the previous row okay pull through the two and then pull through all okay so this is what we're working with now that was row three okay so looks pretty good we're looking pretty good you guys really pretty you know what and if you want you can actually continue on up like this <laughs> but we're not doing that so but it's actually you can if you want to this will be a pretty stitch if you want to um make a blanket a shawl or whatever you can start you can stop here you'll have that little ripple effect but that's up to you okay so what we're going to do is now we're going to be on row four so with row four chain three and turn one two and three all right in the first stitch we're going to do three double crochet i'm mean, actually two in the first stitch we're going to do two because this one that we already did this chain three counts as one so we're going to do two more double crochets in this same stitch okay so one and two okay for a total of three chain three skip over this and go into the one where we did the two um, double crochet together and we're going to do five double crochet in the same stitch this is going to be called the shell stitch okay just so you know so yarn over and do five double crochet in this stitch so one mm -mm -mm. hold on back that up this karen boy i'm gonna do another chain one Ooh, all right, chain one more, yarn over. So we're going way over here, okay? Okay, so one, two, three, four, And five chain three skip over all of this go back over to the next two double crochet together and do five more double crochets which is the shell stitch okay so that's what you're going to be doing you're going to be um, <clears throat> doing your five double crochet in the chain um, the two double crochet together spot okay that's where you're gonna be doing it and then in between it will be chain threes okay i'll meet you at the end 
All right, so I'm back. Okay, so at the very end, I just finished my five double crochet shell. As you can see, I did my last chain three. Now, in this area, you can either go in a stitch or you can go um, in this little spot right here. It don't matter. You're gonna be doing, doing three double crochet in this same stitch, okay? So just so you know. So if you wanna use a stitch marker, you can. If you don't, it does not matter, okay? I'm just gonna let you guys know that, so. Go one, two, and three, okay? So this is row four. Now, it does look a little funky, <laughs> okay? But don't worry about that, okay? Trust me. So you're gonna see, you see how it is? You got that big old hole? Uh-huh, yeah, you see it. Yes, you do. <laughs> Don't worry about it because when we do the double crochet row, which is our fifth row, that's going to fix all of that. Okay. So we're going to, now this is where if you did everything you're supposed to do and how you're supposed to do it, everything should line up because when you're done with this, this next row, which is the fifth row, this is the double crochet row. Um, you're going to make sure that you have at least um, 33 stitches. Whatever you start out with is what you should end up with. Okay. Just always remember that. Now, so what we're going to do is we're going to chain three. We're going to put, you know, remember those three double crochets? That chain three counts as one. We're going to put a double crochet in each stitch. So one right here. We're going to put another one in the next double crochet that we put. And this is where it might get a little complicated. Okay, so I want to make sure I'm going to go really slow and I'm going to do the whole row with you guys, okay? So in this area, we have uh, the chains, right? Usually it's three, okay? So we're gonna put one double crochet in this. Oh, hold on, let me get in frame. Let me get in the frame. So we're, this is the row that we're doing all the double crochets. So we already put two. We had our chain three right here, and then we put one here, and we put one here. In these spaces, this big old gap is gonna be a total of three double crochets here, okay? But one's gonna go here. One's gonna go through both of these loops, and then one's gonna go right here. Okay, so always remember that when you're doing this. So yarn over, go through here, do a simple double crochet like we always do, then yarn over. And this time we're gonna pull up this loop and go through both of those, okay? You see? And then we're gonna go back in that same spot by itself, okay? Here's the fan. We're gonna put a double crochet in each stitch of the fan. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. We're back at that big old hole. So again, yarn over, go through that hoop first by itself to do one double crochet. The next one, we're gonna pull through the one below, pre actually two rows previous, and then to get that up. You see, it looks neater. It looks better, it looks neater. I like it. So again, go in this one. So in that space, you're gonna be doing three. One on each side and one going down by, by two rows, okay? So we did that. Now we're gonna go back into the fan. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, again, we're in that big hole. So yarn over, go through, do a double crochet. Get both of these, go up in here, go in here. Just pull that bad boy through, okay? Like you would do any normal double crochet. You're just going um, a little bit lower. You're going to another row. Instead of going to the last row, which would be the, um, the fourth row, you'll be actually grabbing from the third row, okay? Just on that loop only though. So we already did our three. Now we're back to that fan again. So we're gonna do our five. So one, get some more yarn here. Two. Three. Four. Four 
plus one, five. Okay, again, big hole, go into here. Go two and pull from there. And then right here, okay? Now you remember when we first started out, we had three double crochets right here. So we're going to put three double crochets right here, okay? So we're gonna have one right here, two. Now, if you didn't use a stitch marker, it doesn't matter. Get it up in there somehow. I get it up in here, so it doesn't matter. It does not matter for this one, okay? So don't be picky on it, <laughs> okay? So. When all said and done, if you count them, you should have a total of 33 stitches. All right, so let's make sure. So we have two, four, six, eight. Wait, hold on. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, and bah, 33. So let me put that little sucker by Chia. This will make it easier for beginners. Even for some advanced, just make sure you have your 33 stitches because this is what it will be. Because for you to continue on, if you're making a blanket, a shawl, or um, you know anything like that, you definitely need to make sure that you have all of your stitches, okay? So if you're doing it for a dress trim, you can stop here. This could be the bottom, um, basically the bottom hem, <laughs> as we call it, um, for your, um, your, your dress. This is really pretty. It has like big enough holes, but not too big, okay? So, you know, you don't want to go doing a whole fit with this because I don't think that's going to work out due to the holes. Unless you have something that's underneath and you're doing it with the, like I said, with the, let's say, like with the category one. Not even a one. This is a thread. So if, if you're doing it with this, yes, by all means, you can do this for an outfit. You can because the holes are not too big, okay? You see? It's not too big. So you can definitely get away with this if you're if you're doing it with this. But if you're doing it with a category four, yeah, I would recommend a shawl, things like that, or a dress trim, and that's it. Okay, so that's it. It's a, a two to so you're gonna be repeating rows two through five. So you stop there. This is the one that's um, done twice. This is the original sample. So you'll be doing exactly rows two through five. Okay, because five um, row five is the one with the double crochets. And you'll be pulling, remember, from two rows down. Okay? Alrighty, you guys. I hope you guys like this. this is, now, this is going to be called pattern one. I don't know <laughs> what this stitch is called or, or anything like that. But I'm just going to name them as pattern one and so forth. Okay? I hope you guys like it. And um, if you guys, you know, share my video, like it, subscribe. You know the drill deal. I don't need to explain, but I'm since Christmas is over, now I can get back to what I was planning on doing, which is showing you guys how to do some things, all right? So, all right, thank you for tuning in, and I will see you next time. Bye!